And then we found out that Jay haven't deleted his Tinder profile yet. Because I'm not going to make a super big investment on going on a date with a girl. You guys, it's the craziest story ever. She's an adventurous one. <laughs> To your favorite city, I got plans for your ring, for your finger, and it's sitting pretty. What, what up, Globals? And of course, we're back with another episode of dating in the digital age. Ooh. Ooh. I want to start juicy. Hold I, on, huh? one second. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment uh, for more episodes about dating in the digital age. Okay, so now tell us your okay. story. You guys, it's the craziest story ever. It was the time when Jay and I went together on Tinder. <laughs> when Jay and I did not together. I totally but forgot it's not about what, that. But it's not what you think. We uh -huh, got to explain uh -huh. it. Yeah, definitely. We'll so, get into that for so, sure. So Jay and I were together a few weeks and uh -huh, uh -huh. we did a trip to Maine. And we were with our artist that would shoot music videos there. Shout out Zaku. Zaku. And we needed... Uh, a girl for the music video and in LA you have those um, professional pages where models and actress um, have their profile and you can hit them up but we couldn't find this for Maine mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then we found out that Jay haven't deleted his Tinder profile yet <laughs> I always was wondering were you still using it no I wasn't still using it okay good um <laughs> we had only been together for a couple of weeks you just forgot about i it. think i forgot about it but it was your idea it was so funny to see all his me messages too <laughs> so like i knew the game how you would hit people up uh -huh, uh -huh. and I, I'm, I'm i'm like honest i had to cringe <laughs> but you needed some practice was before that, you meet me so. oh yes exactly so, uh, good. was that a red flag that i still had a tinder profile yeah of course damn oh, really? i knew you were honest and i saw the messages there was nothing uh act, like nothing active yeah nothing I, don't think, active. I, I think i still had the profile but it was on like vacation mode what's that it, you can put it on vacation mode so instead of delete it you could just click it and it doesn't show you in the swipes and it doesn't show you people either ah okay but so that way you don't they made it like that so you don't have to delete the app oh wow okay so i mean that brings us to the topic so this episode is going to be about dating red flags i mean we're about to get into some juicy topics some of the red flags we came across no goes. before dating some of the uh red flags that our family and friends have gone through and some of the red flags that almost stopped us from being together Ooh, it's gonna get juicy okay oh, so interesting finish the story about us being on tinder yes on jay's tinder and we were looking <laughs> wait on jay's tinder <laughs> oh, wowzers and we would looking for a girl that we could put on the music video in the next day it was just it was like the last option that we had yes and <laughs> i don't want to be mean but if you know main there like a lot of forests and lakes uh, yeah facts. and there was nothing out there and i was i felt so sorry for the people who date in maine yeah i mean there were a couple of girls at the local college that we like contacted and found and like matched with they probably crazy thought enough. we were weird but <laughs> no uh, yeah I mean, I mean a couple of them but one of the girls was just like oh i live two hours away during the weekend so i'm at my parents house i wish i could you yeah know? there was there was that but yeah it was very it would have been a cool music video and then we ended up doing it without yeah we ended up female. doing two parts to it and then shooting the rest in la oh and, and the, i remember our first line we were copy and pasting so we are not looking for like anything dating but we need a girl for a music video yes. and this is a link to our previous videos if you're interested please hit us back yeah <laughs> yeah super super interesting that was your idea though yeah yeah she's an adventurous one <laughs> okay so what are like some of your dating red flags like what what like what turns you off about a man yeah when the, the guy is too pushy on the first date oh when the guy's too pushy or invites you to his place or invites stuff like you to this. his like, place okay hey, you no know, especially if you never met the person so no netflix first. and ch no netflix and chill no i watch too much horror movies i watch jeffrey Dahmer. i'm good <laughs> i was very uncreative so i would have one place where i would feel safe a restaurant where with good parking wait wait so she would take she would have all her dates meet her in the same the place same restaurant. and then you could compare them because it's like the wow. same you, you put a field experiment because <laughs> they all have the same setting no i i'm i'm 
I don't want to say I was lazy. I, I, you know, as a woman, you have to f feel yeah, safe. Yeah, but then what do you... And it was like light, even when it was... You know, in Germany, it's like dark in yeah, the winter. So, so it was enough light. It was people there, a good parking and good so food. So then all the bartenders and all the people knew. They were like, oh, no, she's I didn't here have for the third time. No, because I didn't have that many dates. Yeah, sure. I don't know No, if I it was her. like one date, then three months go by. Like... Mm, okay. Yeah. So they're like... So, so then the guy who owns the restaurant or the barkeeper is like, oh, damn, I guess that one didn't work out. She's back again three months <laughs> later. <laughs> That's good. So he knows That's I'm dating. What the, the, they probably watched out for me that like I don't get kidnapped. You're hilarious. Okay. I'm just so honest. What are some of your other red flags? No Netflix and chill. No Netflix and chill. Okay. You know what? You know what one of my red flags is about women? One time I uh, DM'd a girl and the girl wanted to go out with me. Um, I don't know if it was, a, I think I met her on a dating app or DM, one of the two. And she was like, okay, I'll go out with you. And I was like, cool, let's meet for coffee. And then the girl said, that's such a red flag. No coffees. I'm good. Yeah, that's an American thing. There's a list in the internet right now. And I thought it's funny. Yeah, there is. There's yeah, a list yeah, yeah. on the internet. Uh, 50 places where you shouldn't put her to the first date. Yes. And so many of those on the list is like, it's good food, it's restaurants. I feel like... Yeah, the girl that went viral for getting mad at the guy for not taking her to Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. For, I mean, for taking her to Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, yeah that was but crazy cheesecake, to me. But Cheesecake Factory is difficult for the first date, you know why? Why? <laughs> because the menu is so... <laughs> overwhelming <laughs> that you like can focus on the date you're like oh pizza burger tacos salad uh, yeah what did but you say but you're guaranteed to find something in that bible of a menu that they have that's like the specialty right yeah one hour later <laughs> <laughs> but i would Thanks. i would do it but yeah i would, I would do so it so yeah thing. so but that's i think a, drinking is better for not not alcohol but i think like a drink because you know how you like sometimes who nervous goes on the to have non-alcoholic drinks drink state I like do. drink yeah. I used to. So you would go on I've, dates and get like cranberry juice or something? Yes. Wowzers. I would have think I you would had I like, would get tea. Wow. With honey and lemon. Wowzers. Yes. That's how you know you're not getting laid. You don't know because we never had a normal date because it was the pandemic and we would yeah. be playing Monopoly on Guys, the Xbox instead. If a girl orders tea on a drink date, you know you're not getting laid and that is a red flag. Okay, that's not true. Yeah, you're like you're not fun. You're like you're like you you agree if you if a girl go agrees to go on a date with you to a bar and she gets tea, she's absolutely boring. <laughs> Run, red flag, stop, flag on the play. If the girl drinks tea is actually good for you guys because it's like a scientific fact that when you drink something hot on a date, you feel more comfortable like you oh, you really? you get warm and it's like like the way it makes you feel, it, um, it translates feel to the guy and then you see the guy as a warmer person and not in the same with two, with a cold drink. That okay, you, guys, please It's comment. no joke. I read that. Okay. But that's not why I drink tea. I, just, I need... I need the, the, again, it's it's cold in Germany. I right? need our audience to, so to comment if that's like actual fact. There's got to be some... Yes, I don't know. You that can sounds, look that up. If I invite a girl to get drinks, not not coffee or tea if i invite her to get drinks and she gets a coffee or a tea at the bar i'm literally going to leave <laughs> i have a question yeah what are your red flags um what else? yeah if a girl says you can't go out to tea or what did you coffee, say i said okay thanks never mind you know why? Why? Because I'm not going to make a super big investment on going on a date with a girl, right? Mm -hmm. When you're online dating, especially, and you're just trying to make friends, you're just trying to meet people, you're like on a budget. You're not trying to spend $100 on every girl you take out. You're trying to look for cool people. So a 30-minute coffee, an hour coffee, it's not a big commitment for either one of us. I feel like when you're serious, it's a good idea also to, instead of do a Saturday night, something mm -hmm, like this, mm -hmm. Literally meet that person on a Sunday. On a Sunday. For brunch. For brunch. For breakfast. For breakfast. And that will change everything. I went on one date with a girl for breakfast at like 6 a.m. I have no clue why. Yeah, oh, in like, the morning? Yeah, like 6 or 7 in the morning. Literally. What? Like, <laughs> yes, we were like the first people in the restaurant. It was a breakfast date. Um, I took the girl out probably on She's, like... She got up at 3 a.m. in the morning to get ready for you then. No, I, I'm assuming... That was the time before work. She was like, oh, I don't have time 
this week i think it was a red flag only in too. la <laughs> yeah i think it was a red flag like that's I, weird 6 a.m in the morning 6 a.m in the morning i went on a date what yeah we went to like panera bread or something like that or la, pa la pan or whatever whatever the expensive ass breakfast place that used to be in la back in the day and i never forget i'm like oh, okay how expensive could breakfast be and it was like a coffee and a croissant for like 20 bucks was and that, i was like was oh, that a red flag for that you that was a red flag yeah I was you're like, rookie you need to um pick the restaurants uh, girls like that when the guy already I, plans the date well she picked the restaurant because i don't know i she wanted a she breakfast knew which re she knew which places already open at 6 a.m yeah no we literally got there when they were like setting up the cash register we were that's like the wild. first people in in there but that's yeah. right but sunday brunch breakfast you know that's like more the relationship family vibes it gets ah, you in a different mood okay. and um if someone takes time for you on a sunday you know they're serious oh okay okay yeah. oh, what about another red flag any other ones you got oh if they talk too much about themselves oh if they talk too much about themselves yeah. that's a red flag why is that a red flag because i feel like they're selfish if they talk too much about oh uh. when they're also a lot of guys do this so they won't impress the woman and you could tell they won't impress you oh when they try too hard they, they try, try hard. too hard yeah and i'm like just be you just be got you. it got it's it it's not that hard and then i wanted to say what you said before i can relate to that because i feel it's like an la toxic thing here where mm. you have to watch out when you're a guy because there's that woman that wrote mm -hmm. a book yeah how to eat for free and she would have a strategy to make guy to go on a date with a guy and let them pay for very expensive dinners yeah for like a whole year or for a whole like that. year so in la you gotta protect yourself so everyone sure. in la know about this book and i can tell like the vibes how how guys talk that they like afraid of stuff like this and la a restaurant you like easily spend 200 300 yeah. with dessert with appetizer with, with drinks. drinks yeah for sure um I mean, so i can understand to, that to date in la if you're going on a lot of dates trying to find a girlfriend or a boyfriend it definitely gets expensive mm -hmm. you may never see the girl again but you know what another red flag is what? uh text message relationships where What's that? a girl just keeps oh. stringing you on. Oh. She's like, oh, I want to see you. Yes. And you're like, what about Wednesday? And she's like, no, let's try next week. Yes. And then after about like the third time where she just keeps flaking, it's like, wow, yeah. it, it, who is this person? I think I'm going to just run the opposite way because it seems like they have commitment anxiety. They don't want to tell you no. I'd rather be told no yes. or something like that than to be strung along mm -hmm. and canceled on over and over. So if the girl cancels too many times, yeah. that's a huge red flag absolutely agree yes mm -hmm. i got another yeah. one if a girl has a completely nasty car if you oh, meet her at a location and her car has not been washed interesting or she has clothes and shoes all over the back she seat lives of her, in her car, car. yeah uh, not, it's not that she lives in her car <laughs> it's just that means she's messy messy car messy house messy woman you know what i mean yeah, that's you're nothing just, for jay oh yeah you're you, just gonna walk into a big mess if you date this away. girl yeah you gotta make sure that the girl is organized at least you know yeah. women get uh, a big break like a guy's got to be clean cut and women get a huge break off being able to be disorganized mm -hmm. you know what so her finances are going to be all over the place you're gonna have to take care of those her life and relationships with her family and friends are going to be all, all over the place you're going to help with that so major red flag if the car is disorganized or the purse for that matter is disorganized run mm -hmm. <laughs> i think you told me you had a date and then the girl took a picture from the food oh, to post online yes that's another major red flag if a girl takes pictures of the food and post them and does not tag you in them red flag i literally would have this line because it's become such a normal thing for a girl to go on a date you know what i would say i would go are you gonna tag me in that and they'd go uh no why i was like well i mean then i guess you're paying for your own food wow <laughs> yeah That's you such can't a Jay Blaise move. yeah why are you why are you tagging food that why are you taking pictures of food that another person's paying for you didn't cook it and you're not paying for it but yet you're taking pictures of it yeah like what are you doing you're window shopping right now like yeah i, I agree yeah red flag, huge red flag you know what i mean women so men do not take food don't do not take food pictures of 
food you didn't cook that you're not paying for and post it on Instagram. Please don't do that. Too much food pictures are boring anyway. I think so like. too. I you think, never get this. Why? I think only, I really think only losers take pictures of food at every restaurant they go to. I think that's so. Maybe you're like a food content creator. I, you like a chef yeah, or something. Unless you're a food content creator or yeah. a chef. But I'm just saying that's like so 2000. 14 uh, like true. we're in 2023 it's all good everyone's got some dope tasty food you w know would you pick up the girl for the day first date with your car um sometimes or would you say let's meet somewhere um a lot of times i would meet girls places um sometimes i would take them i mean there was a long time when i didn't even have a car got it so yeah then you it, can meet somewhere yeah and then we would meet places um it, it was really interesting dating with no car though that was yeah, so funny. i remember i really appreciated it when at least someone would offer should i pick you up mm -hmm. but then it was always like if you don't know the person that well and you're already n stuck in in their car and maybe the date doesn't work out well there's no way to leave so when like red flags can come up make sure that you have a exit strategy yeah facts. like in the movie facts your best friend calling you and i would send my best friends my location wow okay yeah i would it. send uh, that's like woman should really do this mm -hmm. and another red flag is when the person doesn't want to talk to you on the phone before meeting oh i would never this do is this true yeah exactly. i would never do this you gotta make sure i i wouldn't even talk to him on the phone i would facetime like we're in 2021 yeah if you want to meet me in person you should be able to facetime me first yep so if you don't facetime me first i ain't showing up to no restaurant guys can get taken advantage That's of and true. hurt it as That's well true. and we're all humans you never know yeah you really never know exactly it's like it's the internet it's the wild wild west like yeah and super, you can hide so good so. yeah super red flag um if the girl um invites her friend on a date i went on a date that's when they're insecure they do that I, w I went on a date once before and the girl invited her friend I was like what what, what is this like a double date she, she was like oh um you know uh my friend is just like in the area can she stop by and hang out with us and i was like cool I she either didn't took it so serious didn't want to mm -hmm. make it look as a date or she was insecure uh i, I have like no clue i just kind of the option at that but point that went that went terrible that, that i never awkward. went on the date with the girl ever again mm -hmm. like i friend zoned her i um so i mean we're gonna talk about so many more mm -hmm. things on this season comment your red flags below let us know your red flags yeah definitely let us know your red flags because we can continue these conversations about this in the dms there was a red a lot of red flags you know what no, yeah no, i got i got another red flag a big one we a can't bonus miss this red, one bonus, uh, uh, bonus one when the person is um when the person is unfriendly to the waiter or waitress i agree yeah, if they don't oh, look yeah. them in the I look eye at this. oh yeah if they're impatient oh, yeah. it's so annoying I general in general how the person treats other people yes. when you're around them tells you a lot I exactly that's a huge red mm -hmm. flag and i remember going on a date with a girl and she was like oh, this restaurant is just i cannot believe the service and i was just looking at her like again you're not paying so what does it matter <laughs> like, yeah. like just calm down relax i'm not about to go fight no crazy battles because the food was two minutes late or something like that yeah. like just calm down relax let's enjoy more conversation and if you can't do that then you know i'm out you don't seem like a fun person next. anyways <laughs> next exactly but um make sure you guys like subscribe and comment because we'll be back with more episodes of the season of dating in the digital age oh, and we'll be discussing so many things and eventually exciting. we'll talk about the perfect dating profile you know mm -hmm. what i mean and like what it'll take to get a girl from germany or a guy from america you know we're kind of like experts in this <laughs> yeah anyways mr and mrs global we, we out, out. Tickets to your favorite city. I got plans for your ring, for your finger, and it's sitting pretty. I got bands for your story, for your friends. That's the smile from your face. Got you moving in my place. Yep. Plane tickets.